What is the future of The Clash? From 1979 until 2020, The Clash was run at Daytona International Speedway on the two and a half mile oval. It served as a precursor to the Daytona 500. It was like a nice little entry point to the season for everyone. Get the pole winners from last year, that's how it originally was set up, have them go out there, run a short race, you know, whet everyone's appetite, if you will. Over the years it changed and it went from being pole winners to champions to race winners to then just everybody gets to be in the race if you're one of the 36 chartered teams. In 2021, the race went from the two and a half mile oval over to the road course, which was fine, but it wasn't really that enticing, especially because it's not what you're about to see. And at the time, it's like, do we really need a road course race before the season? It was different. It was a novelty. It was fine. So then in 2022, the race moves from Daytona all the way across the country to Los Angeles at the LA Coliseum, where NASCAR built a purpose-built quarter mile track inside of the Coliseum. And now after three years there, NASCAR's contract is up and the question is what's going to happen with the clash in the future? Does NASCAR return to Daytona, which fans have clamored for, except for the fact that the last time this race was run at Daytona on the Oval, a total of like 12,000 fans showed up. More fans showed up at the LA Coliseum and the whole point behind going to the LA Coliseum was to take NASCAR to a new fan base, to a demographic that hadn't previously maybe had access to NASCAR, right? If you didn't want to take the 45 minute to hour drive out to Fontana, you weren't going to see NASCAR. Now you put it right in a city center in a high dense urban environment, you make it a lot easier. You brought the product to them. That was the point behind this. And you saw it even this past weekend at The Clash when they ran it on Saturday night, the diverse crowd that is there. That's exactly what NASCAR wanted. They want to try to make new fans out of people that previously didn't have access to the sport. Having the race at Daytona is great. Like I said, it's a precursor. People like to see it. The unfortunate part was nobody went and teams tore up a ton of equipment. If you think back to the last time they ran on the Oval for The, the Clash, I'm pretty sure Christopher Bell drove across the finish line in an absolutely thrashed race car. And Jeff Gordon thought that, I believe it was maybe Denny Hamlin that was pushing him, was like, oh, he's going to win the race. He wasn't. But at the end of the day, the clash just had run its course at Daytona. The same way that the all-star race ran its course at Charlotte Motor Speedway. You need to make changes. So now the question is, where does NASCAR go with the clash? Does it continue on in 2025? Does it go back to Daytona? Or does it go somewhere else, international maybe? Or do they just scrap the whole thing together? So this past week, NASCAR has floated some ideas and some sources told The Athletic and Jordan Bianchi that there's a potential that this race could head south of the border to Mexico next year. Whether that be Mexico City or Guadalajara, is that going to be a temporary racetrack that NASCAR builds? Because we've seen they can build a racetrack wherever they want now. Or are they going to use a local track in that area that maybe the NASCAR Mexico Series race is at? Personally, I love the idea. NASCAR needs to go to new markets, and if they take it to Mexico, whether it's going to be Guadalajara or Mexico City, that place is going to be packed out. It, there's not going to be a question of if fans are going to be there. It's going to be a question of like, how many tickets can we sell? Even if it's just for an exhibition race, people still want to go see this. So I think that's what they might ultimately end up doing. And I posted about this on TikTok, and people didn't love the idea of it, but going from Mooresville to either Mexico City or Guadalajara is still shorter of a distance than going all the way out to Los Angeles. Going from Mooresville to Los Angeles is about 2,400 miles. Going from Mooresville to Guadalajara, 2,005 miles, so it's shorter. Going from Mooresville to Mexico City, about 1,982 miles. So it's shorter distance. Fans are like, oh, you can't send them all the way across the country. You're sending them too far. Listen, we're we're shortening it up by about the entire state of Kansas if they go to Mexico, which is fine. It's a good thing, right? You're not traveling as far for all of these guys. Kyle Busch might not be able to go, but I think that is a good move if that's where they decide to go. It checks off a few boxes for them. It allows the clash to continue. It allows them to go and have an international race and not have to use a points paying race for that, although I still think they'll do that in the very near future. It also allows them to partner with the NASCAR Mexico series, and it takes the sport to an entirely new country where the Cup Series hasn't previously raced at. It's a win-win if that's what they end up doing. There's also been some talk about them maybe doing something in Dallas or another southern city in the United States where they could potentially build a temporary circuit. What the clash needs to be is an event where you take it to areas that are underserved by NASCAR, whether that's an urban center, whether that's a new country, something along those lines in an effort to try to grow the sport. 
Matt Weaver from Sportsnot, he had a great write-up on what he thinks that the Clash and the All-Star Race should do to serve NASCAR. And his thought process makes a ton of sense. The Clash should be used, like I said, as a product for NASCAR to go out there and show off. Take your product to a new area, right? Show it off to a new demographic. Show it off to a city that maybe hasn't potentially seen it before. Take your product to people that maybe don't have access to getting out to a racetrack because traditionally racetracks aren't exactly close to, to dense areas. What the All-Star Race should do is go around to short tracks around the country, because again, it's in the summer, so you're not really that limited on where you can take it, and have it be a grassroots event. event. Connect NASCAR back to that grassroots level, whether that's a Salem, Winchester, Evergreen, Irwindale, doesn't matter. Take it to a short track around the country and have it serve that purpose. Give North Wilkesboro a, a, a points paying date, and then you can kind of move that All-Star Race around. I get it. It's an SMI property. Uh, the All-Star Race date, at least, is... So that'll take some working out there. But I love the idea of that. Have your one exhibition race be a great thing to take to, to areas that don't previously, you know, have access to NASCAR. And then have your other exhibition race serve as, you know, that reconnect back to the grassroots level. So I like all the ideas that have come out from, from NASCAR and people within the industry about the clash. The clash needs to continue. I saw Denny Hamlin say that he would be in favor of the clash going away if that meant more practice time at Daytona. I think the two can coexist. I think that there should absolutely be practice time at Daytona, but you don't have to get rid of the clash to do that. I get it. It's a bit of an operating budget and everything that comes down to it, but figure it out at the end of the day. Uh, so I think the clash still serves a purpose. I, I think what happened uh, over the weekend is unfortunate. You can't really do much about the weather, and they made the right call because on Sunday, Los Angeles had the rainiest day ever with, I believe, 4.6 inches of rain that fell on, set on Sunday. So there's no way that race is ever going to run on Sunday night. So they absolutely made the right call. It's just unfortunate that it had to happen on the day that NASCAR wanted to run the clash and, and strand a lot of us from, from getting there, which again, I don't have a problem with. They absolutely made the right call and they running in on Saturday night was the right move. So the future of the clash, maybe Mexico, maybe another Southern area in the United States. I've seen people be like, oh, we could take it to the like Gateway Dirt Nationals at St. Louis and run it indoors. <sighs> yeah, I mean like they do run dirt late models indoors at, at the Gateway Dirt Nationals. I don't hate the idea. The unfortunate part is the LA Coliseum is the best stadium in this country to do it in because it's an Olympic stadium. If you look at how the track is set up or how the football stadium is set up rather, when they play a football game there, the field is all moved down towards the bowl end and there's probably about 30 yards behind the end zone before you get to the uh, staircase that comes down into the stadium. There's not a lot of other stadiums in, in the United States, at least, that have that much area within them. I've seen people mention that they could run it indoors maybe in Dallas or do something like this at MetLife. The fields just aren't big enough. Your track would be even smaller than what you saw at the Clash, and that was already a really small track. So I don't really think that it's feasible necessarily to do that unless you cut down on the number of cars even further from like 23, maybe down to like 15. But either way, they're going to try something else with it, and I'm here for it. At the end of the day, it's an exhibition race. If you're getting all out of sorts and mad about an exhibition race, log off the internet for a little bit. It's just meant to have fun. It's meant to go out there and promote the sport to an area, like I said, that hasn't previously had access to it, to a demographic that maybe hasn't really experienced NASCAR before, and to just promote the sport. Not having the clash is going to be unfortunate because that just means we have to wait two weeks longer to see cars on a racetrack somewhere. So let me know in the comments what you think the future of the clash should be. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.